Renew Corina's smile. So let's get right into this video. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed the previous videos and if you did I would love if you guys would like them and also subscribe and in today's video we're gonna actually renew Corina's smile and you actually probably know her from the dentistry quiz video and we she wants veneers so uh, the first step in doing that we have to document the case right mm -hmm. right and uh, today we're joined by dr flavia uh first we actually had to take pictures of the uh, corina and we're gonna show you that now and now she's just uh, calibrating the the camera on me and yeah we're gonna take these pictures so let's do that And then we had to scan her whole arch so we can uh, project a few things and make DSD and other things. So we're gonna show you that as well now. Okay, so now we are gonna scan her. I have here the prime scan and I'm gonna show you guys how the scanning goes. As you know, maybe you're like, I already have a video more detailed and I'm gonna use an Octa gate. I just need the mirror from time to time, gloves, of course, the protection for the patient and we're gonna start scanning. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make her file. So we are done now with the scanning and we're gonna let it process. As you can see, that's processing very quick or it's been just like one minute because we didn't scan that much. So when you scan, it's good to always not stay a lot with the camera on the tooth because it's very smart and as much as it stays, more it captures and it's more time to load and we don't either, either way you need those details. So yeah, and now we're waiting for you to export and we're gonna take you to the next step. And the last step is to actually make mocho, which we're gonna learn more about by Dr. Flavia will tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so now we're gonna export the models from the CEREC and we're gonna import it in the mojo. Okay, so we're gonna create Corina a file in here. So we created her file and now, this is a very important step, uh, we import the files. So we have the uh, upper jaw. We check the model. We can check the occlusion and see if the modelers are okay and everything's okay. Okay, so at this stage that we are now in, we have to draw some guidelines. I'm gonna show you. And okay, so why do we draw guidelines? Uh, we need these guidelines. So we can calibrate, so we can calibrate Corina's moves of the jaw with uh, the camera. Very nice. With this Luwali guy here. Yes, the nice one. Yay! <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna mount the inferior sensors. Yes, this one with this. It's like a butterfly. <laughs> okay, how do we do that? And now we check. Oh, okay, so that is just one time use and we had to measure the dimension to see how big it is and now she's like uh, cutting it a bit because it's a bit too long. Yes, it's too long. Too long. Too long. Too long. Dr. 
butterfly, there's like placing in the inferior butterfly onto the sensors that we fixed in the mouth. And now we have to also mount these two parts. Nina makes some moves and she's doing the same thing in real life. Put your tongue back inside. <laughs> okay, so uh, so here we have like the basic moves of the jaws uh, because when we buy, when we normally chew something, for example, we don't just usually open and close. We have a, like a dynamics uh, when we do that. So we'll start with the most simple one you can see now in real time open close her movements yeah. yes this is extraordinary and it's actually the first time we can see in a digital way this uh, this stuff and now i will need your help bianca okay <laughs> so she needs to like bite three times quick so that we know that every time we record the position she's starting from the same position so she's gonna start now from closing as all the times yeah so do the tap 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 <laughs> okay, and now we hit play, and you can open and close three times. And open and close, I can see. Yes, okay. we press stop. Okay. She has a slight deviation. And now we hit play. Yes. And do it. One, two. Three. It's nice that we can see from different angles uh, that we cannot in real life. So we can see the protrusion movement from the throat or things like this. Yes, you can actually see from, from behind. Like this. We do tap, tap, tap. Okay, stay closed. Stay closed and now do the right movement there. Okay, one more time. And one more time. Yes. Tap. Okay. So now we're gonna do it's called Gothic Arch. So we're gonna do tap tap tap, then she's gonna do open, close, left and right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Woo! Chewing. 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 Last movement. And the last movement is chewing. Try to eat. Eat. Ooh, la, la. No, not yet. No, no, no. Not, not yet. yet. Uh, mm. I'll take speed. Mm -hmm. And now tap, tap, tap. Start. Put it. And chew it. Mm. Both sides. So that's finished. Also swallow. Can you do this if you have braces? Uh, well, I think it's better after, okay. during the braces. Sure. So, I can't wait to do for me as well after I take off my braces. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can see the forces on the teeth. She has quite a harsh bite. Well, see? Everything? Yeah. So, at the end we check uh, all the movements once again. So, we can see now if there's something big happening here if the movements were right and everything 
uh, then we're gonna analyze and make a proper diagnostic for our patient and see what it's needed and uh, what's going on there exactly and if you guys want to hear more about these things with mojo uh, we can have dr flaga in a future video and talk a bit more in depth about mojo and guide you through everything it's doing and until then let us know if you're interested in the comments down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i will see you next week bye guys bye